Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enter ADP in QuickBooks when you have direct deposit and checks. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to gather your payroll reports. You want to get your payroll liability report from ADP and your payroll summary report. Once you have that, you want to make sure that in QuickBooks, you have the correct accounts that you need. So you will need a payroll liabilities account. You will need a payroll clearing account. And you will need your payroll expenses, which is officer wages, salaries and wages, payroll tax expense, and this company has 401k matching, so I have added it there. And of course, you need the payroll processing fees for ADP. So once you have um, those accounts, now you are ready to enter your information. So go to your payroll summary and start entering the checks. You will enter the check date, the check the net amount not the gross amount the gross amount will be entered on the journal entry we will do so we will enter the net amount and the check number now this company also pays their subcontractors as you can see this has no tax withholdings which is okay we will enter those as well as checks this is a check now the direct deposit i really don't have to worry about entering here because what ADP does is books all the direct deposits and does one um, transaction from your bank account. So I usually wait for the bank feed to come through and I enter it through there. I do not enter the checks through my bank feeds. The reason I, do, I don't do that is because I want the check date and the check amount to be in the same month. What I mean is sometimes employees can hold their checks for a month, two weeks. So the check date that is cleared in the account is not going to be the same as the pay date. So I want the pay date or check date to be the one recorded in QuickBooks. Once the uh, bank feed has come through, the transaction has come through the bank, I could just match that to the check I've already entered. I don't need to re-enter that from the bank feed. The next step is to do a journal entry. So here is my journal entry for this payroll summary. Now this is for December and what I've done is I have separated the um, officer wages and the salary wages. The reason I do that is because on the tax return there is a line item for officer wages. So I try to make it simple for the CPA and I already pull out the information. So I do officer wages, salary, let me see if I can make this bigger, salary and wages. And then I have the subcontractors entered here. So in this case, this is a trucking company, so they do subcontract a freight and delivery. So I've entered uh, two because there's two different vendors. In the description, I put um, who is who. Now, for the payroll liabilities, I grab my payroll liabilities report. Let me go ahead and um, show you here. So I grab my payroll liabilities report. And for the employee, I enter the total taxes. For the employer, I enter this total amount. Um, so let me go back to my journal entry. So here is the employee amount. Here is the employer amount. And I also expense that because that is the employer amount. And this company has 401k. So going back to my payroll summary, I could see that also here, the retirement, ADP retirement. Um, so for the employee is 720, for the employer is 660. So I entered that in my journal entry here as well. Now, 
I put it under the payroll liabilities. I, like I said, I book all the liabilities in one account. I don't have a liabilities account for the 401k. I just put it in the liabilities account. I do have an expense account because the matching portion is an expense for the owner. So I put that there. And for the payroll clearing, as you could see, the payroll clearing is the only one here. And I entered the net amount. So the net amount is 86626 and that's what I enter here, 86626 My total journal entry should equal my total summary. So I look at this total expense over here on the right hand, uh, the last column, and it's 117,653.03. That's what my journal entry is. Now, how do I know that this is correct? Well, when I go into my payroll liabilities, I can see that it is correct. This is my payroll liabilities. Now, this is for um, past months. So I'm going to take a look at April. So I'm looking at April here. And as you could see, the ending balance for April ended up being zero. The previous month for March ended up being zero. Well, 270, so it went ADP took out 270 for the balance of the 401k, but it ended up being zero. That's what I'm looking for. These two accounts, when you have third party payroll, ADP, paychecks, whoever you have, you want to make sure that these two accounts, the payroll liabilities and the payroll sum, uh, payroll liabilities and the payroll clearing are zero. So this is the payroll liabilities. And as you can see, as I'm going month by month, it ends up being zero. The same goes for my payroll clearing account. Here is my December clearing account, and it's at zero, zero balance. It's everything is paid out. Here are the checks that I've entered. And here are the bank feeds that ADP takes out for the direct deposit. And then here's my journal entry. And then here's another, uh, this was for the bonus. So here's another um, ADP wage direct deposit that they took out. You will see the payroll clearing zero. And maybe you will see the payroll clearing, uh, the payroll liabilities account also zeroed. I have a small $300 for the matching that still hasn't come through yet. Once it comes in, I will put it towards the a payroll liability account and it will zero out. Now, if you need help um, with entering your ADP payroll or paychecks payroll or any third party payroll, uh, please go to my website and schedule a one on one training with me, um, ecquickbookstraining.com, and I'll be able to help you out with um, entering and setting up your accounts and entering ADP. I hope that this video has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips, and tricks, and I will see you on the next one.